Hello everybody, Brian here with your daily crypto talk. So I decided that I'm going to start doing this new thing. Um, I know a lot of you guys know Trevon James and in the beginning of like his older videos, he used to give out cryptocurrencies in the first 10 minutes of the video. He used to give out, you know, free Steam, free Bitcoin um, in the first 10 minutes. So, like, two people who commented down in um, the commenting section. So, I'm going to start doing that as well. Um, I think it's a great way to market yourself. I think it's a great way to get people to be a little bit more interactive. At the same time, it's a great way to get some subscribers. Um, probably be giving out some steam. Um, Steam and Bitcoin probably just because I have a lot of those. Um, but yeah, like it's been an interesting week in the crypto world. Uh, BitConnect has it just <clears throat> BitConnect has kept surprising me. I just saw a GT BMW. I did not know that was a thing. I'm like looking at this car and it's, it's nice and, and different. I have like a little thing on the back of the trunk, you know, it comes up like the race cars have and stuff. A GT BMW, wow. But I digress. What was I saying? A big connect, yeah, like wow. Wow I am like eighty percent I've I've gotten eighty percent of my capital back from Big Connect in about two months. I think a little bit less than two months. And I should have had sixty percent of my capital back in profits. But it's 80 because when I got into BitConnect, it was the week after it shot from like $15 to like $50. I wish I got in like a couple weeks earlier when I was at 15 like, wow. And then when I was in May, ish, now in June, I'm pretty sure I started in June. <clears throat> in June, I put some money in there and it was at 50 something dollars and today, is at $95. So, not only am I making um, money from BitConnect because of um, the interest payments, but I'm also making money on um, BitConnect uh, from just holding the token that I have on um, BitConnect. I'm not... Um, I am not buying, <clears throat> I am not reinvesting every day, which is what some people are doing. I, I am not doing that because I figured, I think that I'll make more money if BitConnect keeps climbing. So what I do is, in my lending wallet where you get paid in USD, I hold my my payments there and I do reinvest no no I'm lying I hold it in my lending wallet and um, I have BitConnect tokens and I basically just stake the tokens like just wait for like BitConnect has been climbing so fast and rapidly that like why not um, stake the tokens uh, and when BitConnect drops, like when the price drops, like I'm almost certain that it's gonna go back up. So the money that I have in my lending wallet, then I transfer that over to my uh, BitConnect tokens. So I'm buying BitConnect tokens when they're low, like for whatever reason, if the market drops.
and it's been working pretty well. Um, I'm waiting to get uh, my full in investment back in profit to reinvest it to reinvest them. Then I should be getting um, double the interest payments that I've been getting recently, and yeah, instead of like within a month, I should have my initial initial capital. And then that's gonna be released to me in like another like probably month and a half or two months. Like I'm I'm just having fun with it right now. I'm not gonna lie, the turns have been amazing. Um, make sure to hit that like button. Like 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 like. And I want more interactions and I want more comments from you people. Like, give me something to talk about. Oh, this is going to be the caption of this video. It's going to be a warning on Neo. Like, I have not done my research on Neo. Like, I, I don't even know what Neo is, really. But it just popped out of nowhere. Um, it just popped out of nowhere one day, and it's in the top 10. And, and voila, boom, popped out of nowhere. But warning. A lot of people were pumping Neo. A lot of bloggers, a lot of YouTubers, uh, a, a lot of people were pumping Neo yesterday. Like live streaming. Let's watch Neo hit thirty dollars. Warning: Neo is not gonna stand. It's not gonna stay at thirty-five. Thirty-five dollars. It's not gonna stay at thirty dollars. It's gonna drop. Warning: Neo will drop. <clears throat> not saying sell your Neo. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. All I'm saying is I wouldn't buy Neo right now. I would be expecting a bubble to burst with Neo at any given moment. Um, people were pumping it left and right. Uh, my YouTube was just filled with people talking about Neo, like the people who I subscribe to, um, like even on Steam it, like holy crap, like I don't remember the last time Bitcoin was pumped as hard. Watch out for Neo. Watch out for Neo. I'm you heard it from me first. Like watch out for Neo. Like I'm gonna do a video later on, like in a week or two, when like Neo crashes, and like I'm gonna just like put this video here, like freaking August 11th. I said it first. Neo is in a bubble. It's going to crash. Um, uh, bitcoins. Bitcoin. Like hell yeah! Like I can't wait for Bitcoin. Like. Bitcoin just keeps going up and up. I, at this rate, I think Bitcoin can hit like six, seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars, probably. I'm gonna say seven thousand. Oh, that's like double what it is right now. Like, wow. But at the rate that it's going, I, I'm gonna say six thousand five hundred by the end of the year. Six thousand to seven thousand dollars by the end of the year like come december i think bitcoin's gonna be like seven thousand dollars and it's gonna be a gradual increase as all these other fiat coins and altcoins depend on crypto they they depend on it they depend on on bitcoin to do well um bitcoin does doesn't do well these coins don't do well everybody else goes down um, Ethereum, I'm happy that I bought Ethereum at $200. I'm happy that I, that I just bought Ethereum. Like, um, I sold some of my Ethereum because I bought $200. Now it's $300. Like, make some profit on that. Like, I bought some, you know, bought some Dodge coins. Um, Digibyte, uh, just cause I like those small coins, um, and 
they've been fluctuating in prices in like like the last couple of days, showing some potential of um, them going up. I just bought them because they're really cheap, and I just want to like, use some of my profits to to invest in these coins for days like yesterday or the day before yesterday when they spiked in price. And then, like, I think one of those coins was at like six cents, and they were at they were a cent a share. So that would have been really nice to like sell at that point. Um, and yeah, like I've done it before with Stellar and Ripple. Even though like right now I'm really staying away from them. Like if they drop again, then I'll buy because they they tend to stable on themselves out. Uh, around like 22 cents for or for Ripple. Like last time I checked like 18 cents or around there. Like like if, if Ripple hits like 18 cents, like 17 cents, 16 cents, like I'll buy Ripple again and, and just wait for it to go back up to like 20 something cent and like sell. Um, Stellar is at like two cents point, like two or point four. Like if Stellar goes under two cents again, um, I'll buy Stellar. Probably like the one, like one cent point eight, like, uh, and then I'll sell again. Just because these are the coins I've been playing with, and I like they keep coming like coming back up to that price range where they're like afloat there. Um, yeah, I think that's a. Uh, that's it for today's recap. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch my last video.